All right, guys. So uh, there is an issue with the plane, and they had to deboard about two hours behind. Hopefully, we get there. Let's see how long we spent, but it's been a disaster so far today. Just trying to get out of the airport. Apparently, um, the plane was just something was broken. I don't know. I would rather switch planes than. Yeah, so hope you guys are doing good. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. We're gonna have a pretty crazy adventure today, which it has started since 3 a.m. So, all right, let's go. So we are here at the Iguazu National Park. Um, the drive from the airport to here is actually not that far. It's like maybe, was it 30 minutes? 30 minute drive? Um, so, you don't mind saying your name for the camera? What was your Hello, name? Hello, Micaela. I'm your, the tour guide. She's gonna be our tour guide. So <laughs> um, yeah, uh, is there anything real quick that you could maybe tell us about this place? Um, like the history of it, like you said, it shares between three different countries. Oh, Iguazu, Iguazu National Park is uh, one of the most important national parks that we have in Argentina, because uh, our waterfalls that uh, we, we are uh, between Argentina and Brazil are one of the new seven wonders, and uh, it's natural heritage of the world by UNESCO, and we are uh, in, in a region with three countries. The waterfalls are between Argentina and Brazil, but here in this area is Paraguay too, and it's really interesting because we can speak in Portuguese, in Spanish, and in Guarani language because it's the language of the natives, and in Paraguay it's an official language too. And it's a beautiful region because uh, there are a lot of culture here uh, and nature, nature. Yeah. Uh, it's very, very beautiful. Cool. Okay, let's go inside and check it out. One of the most unique things that you could do here in this area is this, uh, you can see behind me, like a boat tour, jeep tour, whatever it's called, that goes down the mountain. And then you can actually take a boat. Um, and the boat goes pretty close to the waterfalls. So I've been to the one in Niagara Falls a long time ago, and I do remember you get out of breath because of how close you get, how strong it is. So I'm actually very curious to see how this one's gonna be. This one seems pretty big and pretty powerful, so... Okay, let's go check it out.
right guys, so that's it. I'm here at the airport. This is supposed to be a really quick day trip. The flight coming in wasn't bad and I'm guessing the flight coming back out wasn't isn't gonna be bad either. So I'm gonna leave all the information in the description below from the guides. Um, it was great. Like doing everything was just incredible. So um, yeah, just here at the airport. There's a cool little store back here if you guys want some like a shop gallery like a lot of stuff uh, one of the things that she was explaining to me with this tea um, there's a store right upstairs right before you're walking in I think it's called El Gacho I think it is um, I talked to the lady asked her a couple questions and I was able to get my own little cup with a filtered like straw it's pretty incredible um, so far this trip has been I'm speechless like yeah I, I don't have enough time and I wish I had more days to be here because this place is just something else there's so many things to do and see here so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below I'm not trying to be too loud because again we're here at the airport or I'm here at the airport and I don't want to disturb people um, so let me comment below have you ever guys heard of the Iguazu Falls is it something that you guys want to do it's one of the natural wonders of the world um, yeah incredible so hope you guys enjoyed the video you guys take care take care of each other see you guys in the next one